All right, it's 2022, and if you have your Google Ads account and you're trying to connect your Google My Business or your location extension so that you can show up on the Google, show your Google reviews on a Google ad, um, I'm going to show you how to do that, and there's an error I'm going to fix. So if for some reason your Google My Business is having trouble syncing or if you can't get your location extension to actually trigger, I'm going to show you how to fix that. There's a really easy way I'm going to be swift about this. So number one, remember that through an, a location extension, we can add your Google My Business into a Google ad. And within the location of about 30 miles of where your business is, if you win a search that has a Google My Business, you will show up. This is just an example. These poor saps need more Google reviews. This is not a client of mine, but they're showing up up here. Therefore, they're showing up here. We specialize in doing this. So I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. First off, if you go to a search campaign, uh, you get a search campaign created, whatever that is, and this is called an extension. You're going to go to ads and extensions. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to extensions and you're going to hit plus. And as you go down, you're going to find the location extension. So the location extension is the thing that you will add in your Google My Business in order to actually get your Google reviews to pop in an appropriate manner. But there's something that pops up sometimes. You might add this and it says there's a failure to sync. If it's not syncing um, for some reason. So I just had that on a client's uh, site and, and there's a couple of reasons why that might occur. It may fail to sync even if you add it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to go to location extension. And what you'll see here is I'm able to add in anything associated with my account. So all synced locations. Yes, two synced locations, Brave Carrot and Feedback Ranch. These are the two that I want in there. I'm going to hit save. Now, if for some reason you keep getting the same, um, select a campaign. We're going to go to all campaign, uh, select a campaign. So you have to put it in here as a campaign. Um, what is it? CPA sites. So we'll just pick one of these. And hit done. Okay, so now that's going to actually sync and and be in there. Now you got to add that extension and make sure it's attached to every search campaign. It's only on search. You can't do anything else. But um, there's a chance that it's not working. Now, if it's not working, here's what I want you to do. I want you to open up the Google My Business is associated with that account. So I'm going to go to mine right now, and I'm going to go to Feedback Wrench. And once you get into Feedback Wrench, um, what we're going to do is we're going to check and see if it's actually synced. And there's a thing down here that you can go to called link to ads. So if you're having trouble and it won't sync in Google ads, what'll happen is you have a pop-up here and it'll say GMB fix syncing issues for GMB location. And uh, what you'll learn here is in that, um, there's a couple of reasons why it might not be working. And one of the things that we learned was if you have multiple accounts connected, um, if, if your Google My Business is already added into a Google ad account, there's a chance that it won't work. So in this case, I just fixed the customers. He had a former ads manager working. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to come back in here and you're going to go to the link to ads. Okay, And what this has is all of the accounts. And what you'll do is you'll make sure that you remove it. Remove it and then go back in and re-add it. So I just had a customer and... That client's ad was, he had his Google My Business, there was two accounts synced in here. And once we removed that, then that syncing issue went away. So if for some reason, you can't get your Google location extension. Again, any search ad, you're gonna come into search, you're, you would select the campaign probably, right? And once you get the campaign, so web design websites, this is one. Then in this campaign, I go to ads and remember you got all these extensions that really make your ads much bigger but in order to show up with your google reviews you're going to have to go down here to location now i've already done that or if it's not listed there you're going to go plus and go location extension and once you get that up then you're going to the other thing that you need to know is you're going to have to have the google um google my business account that's associated with your actual GMB. So make sure that you share admin, right? So another thing you might want to do is go up here into the gear and go to access and security. And once you get the access and security, you'll want to come in and add your managers that you might need or add your users. And as you add users and managers, also you'll want to do that on your Google My Business, right? So come into your Google My Business and make sure that the accounts that matter to you, you know, if it's you and your spouse and your business partner, whoever it is, add them all in under users here and get them all integrated so that you can actually have syncing because you're going to have to have your Google Ads account synced with your Google My Business. That'll help you out. Good luck. God bless. Like and subscribe. We are Feedback Wrench. We do web design. We do marketing. We 
if you like the idea of sales, training, coaching, entrepreneurship, marketing, websites, we help construction businesses, accounting businesses, we know tax, we know all sorts of stuff. Like and subscribe if this is helpful. Leave a comment too, that helps us out. Thank you.